I think the sport on the level and the visibility it creates at the moment, it hasn't been seen before. And therefore, the strength of the women's sport is that it's fresh and that it um, has many unwritten chapters. Yeah, what, what am I most proud of? I mean, actually, I, the, the motivation when I went into the sport was only to create a setup and an environment that I personally never had as an athlete. I had good teams, I had well-functioning teams, but there was always something something missing that I would have wished um, to have. Um, was not overly important, but something, I don't know, um, don't have an example yet, but I wanted to have an environment where, where the riders can dive in and they, they can focus on the sport only. Initially, I come from Frankfurt Oder, which is further east um, on the Polish border. That's where I've grown up and have been connected to cycling all of my life because my family has a sports background. My dad has been an Olympic athlete in cycling back in the 70s and my mom has been a handball player. And therefore, um, sport has been part of my life since day one. I've, I personally was a cyclist as well. Um, I started riding my bike um, competitive with the age of 12. And I competed until I was, I think, 27 or 28, I'm not so sure. And I was riding on the track, um, like individual team pursuit, but also six days. And I tried to pursue a road career with um, limited success. Let's put it that way. When we look back, it has become a big challenge. Many teams had a license and they supplied a bicycle. They have supplied travel to bike races, but I think then it pretty much ended and the riders had to find their way in the bike race on their own. Now I'm in peace with myself, but for some years it was quite hard because, yeah, I mean, people 
it's hard for people to believe it that women can also be professional. So yeah, when I started and like I mean some years ago, there was not a lot of money in cycling. So you do it because you like it and because you want to help the others and you help your leader, not because of the money. When we created this team in 2015, when we created the company and then started to, be, to operate in, in 2016, we were a team that did focus way more on how we create an image and how we create a story around the team than anyone else. Um, because in my opinion, you can win 100 bike races. If nobody sees, sees that, then it's not worth anything. So Lars is offering an espresso to everyone. Who else wants? Wow! I realized that I could become a pro, I think, not a lot of years ago. I start to believe uh, more and more, and then when I saw that, the, that cycling was growing uh, at the same time, I start believe that uh, there was a future also for uh, women that want to try to do the sport as a job. Um, now we have 15 World Tour teams, there's regulations, there's um, standards that, that the sport needs to, and the teams need to deliver in order to help these riders to focus on the sport. So for now, in my opinion, it has become more easy for the athlete to access the sport um, when you live in certain areas in the world. Uh, running in Australia is a lot different to in Europe. Uh, it's not quite as common. Cars on the road aren't as generous with the space they give and they're not as patient either. And the bunches, the, the race bunch is really quite small. I became pro via Zwift Academy. It's a virtual platform where you ride your bike inside your home and it's in front of a computer and you can see yourself virtually. Um, and yeah, if you do really well, you can win a pro contract, and that's how I won it uh, two years ago. As, an, as a pro athlete, and this is something that you all need to understand, uh, as a pro cyclist, we unfortunately lose more often than we win. Mm -hmm. And we have more weak moments and strong moments, So, but it's, it's important to stand up if, if you want to become um, one of the leaders in the sport, in, 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 in your career, when you're very young, in your future. And I think that, that stand-up attitude, that's important. Um, between bike races, but also within a bike race. It has, to, has taken a totally different dynamic, the entire sport. I mean, it's the last two years, it was like, um, acceleration was like this in, in the sport. And I think uh, at the moment it doesn't feel that it has stopped. We just have started to ride stories and to raise the interest of, of the public and the community and the sport is existing since so, so many years but it was surprising how people reacted to the performance at the Tour de France um, what what women can do and how they can suffer and what kind of sport they can they can deliver on the highest level I think women, women teams, and this is our ultimate goal, that we can show that the women team can, can be independent and can give the athletes everything that the men's team can give. 
But on the other side, that we also are able to match these increasing salaries and the support level and the infrastructure and everything else. So that, that would be my wish.